he should be far enough away now. Yes, good. Now we get to our f real trouble spot, is this level of the clock tower. We're one level above the last zone, where our... the one that's mapped out in our mechanical plan. But this guy's our first problem. We, we only have to take a first alert from him, but... or well, a green alert, rather, but... He'll green alert when we try to go into this door he's staring at. Huh? Doth someone approach? Well, that time he went yellow. But it's quite possible to get by with only a green, I assure you. Just might take me a couple of tries. Okay, let's go. Doth something move there? Dang it. It might be smarter to break left. That way the wall will provide us some hard cover to block his vision a little bit sooner. Oh, I'm going to try that. So I can get all the way to here without any green alert. Let's break left. Who goes? I can't spy. Hmm. Yes, that's just a green alert. Twas nothing but mine own You're foolishness, brother. Me, Forgive brother. me. All right. That's the spot where Supreme has to be busted, even if you've maintained it so far. And even if you somehow get past there, you arrive here. This is the real trouble spot. This is worth a real save before I even start messing with it. Now, I managed to get through here without putting out any of the lights, but... We're gonna have to... Green alert these guys. And... Matt, creep out to the left and get around the corner while both their heads are turned. That's tough, as I'm sure you can imagine. What Do sound I miss does here? come? Hmm, I know not what I heard. There! What's this? Yep. There. See, I, I went anyway, just on the off chance that it would work, but as you saw, they split their head turn. I need them both to turn toward the wall, and I need them to hold that position for a decent, a decent amount of time. So... <laughs> Tis for nothing. The man who has built his house of straw. My pardon, brother. I didst alarm thee for naught. All right, let's try again. But the do I miss here? Verily, do hear something. I doth worry over much. Uh, hey! He's here. Dang it! Now you might say you've already accepted a supreme must, Travis. Why not put out the torch? Well, I'll show you. Achoo! At least in my practice run, that caused a yellow alert. Assuming I can even make the shot. Oh. Okay. Still, I think the green alert's better. It just feels stealthier to me, so... I mean, hearing a little noise, then dismissing it, you won't remember that five minutes later, but... They'll find an extinguished torch later on. You know what I mean? Granted, I'm almost just getting Perhaps into role-playing now, but... Uh, tis not. Hey! Ha! There he is! I have arms. seen thee with Dang. my... If you're wondering, this is by far the hardest move in the entire level. Heck, it's the, it's the hardest move in the game so far. 
and it's still not that bad. What yes. sound dust come? I hear it no longer. Ah, uh, tis not. Hey, hey. Ha. dang it! He is we don't actually need them both to turn their heads. We just need the guy who's facing toward the desk to do it, but we invariably green alert them both, and when that happens, the guy whose back is to the desk will frequently turn his head to the south, and then we do have a problem. But Yes? Mine ears verily do hear something. I have to let myself way. jump at naught. <laughs> hey! Hey! He's here. It'll work eventually, viewers, I promise. But, as I'm sure many of you are, I'm getting impatient, so I'll just use the water arrow, take another supreme bust, and call it good. Alrighty. Hmm. Perhaps tis not nothing. Maybe. Hey. What sound does be is that I see there? Who has to put out the lights? Mm -hmm. See, what's not okay to me is if they alert based on lights going out. I don't want them to anyway. So we've got a few things to do in here. I'd like to, I'd like to read that note if I could, but maybe I can use his friend as cover. Brother? I think twas nothing after all. There's a green alert, that's fine, let's read. Take heed, if thou must halt the gears, then thou must slow their speed before thou use the halting mechanism. Never use the halting mechanism with the coal dispenser lever thrown and the steam pressure valve closed, or the gears will be thrown from their track. The gears aren't powered by the steam of the boiler. If thou must start the furnace cold, pull thou the lever for the coal dispenser only until such coal as needed hath fallen. Leave not the dispenser open, or the furnace will burn too hot and the gears spin too fast and mark the time too quickly. The steam pressure escape valve shouldst be closed only when thou dost clean the mechanism. Closing the valve wilt prevent excess steam from escape, then the pressure wilt build greatly. Therefore thou must not close the valve whilst the gears are turning, lest they spin too fast and mark the time in error. Now, I'd like to try for the silver goblet on the desk from here, if I could. That's worth 50, brings my total to 78%. Now I should be able to get across the room again. Without even a green alert that time. Good. Now there's another patroller who has an end point over there. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around and leave. Builder, let thy plan take form in me. Perhaps Builder, tis not I nothing. Strike me I think me we did still arm ourselves for naught. Builder, I submit. <clears throat> so there's another green alert, which is fine. I'll take it. Need to get this purse. Now I think the best way to do that is by going fast. I am what's this? Garrett. I really wanted him to just grab the purse. But he insisted on messing with the candle instead. Just come again. Huh? Ah! Good I grief. He does not want to pick up this purse today. And he has an insatiable attraction to the junk. The inkwell and the... candle. Let's try another angle. Ah, he I is come my Too slow. Alright, I think the answer is to come from that angle and go fast. Because although I'm well within visual range, I think I'm far enough away that my footsteps on the stone shouldn't bother them. So, let me 
give that a whirl. See how it goes. What? Dang. Well, what do I know? I know I should be able to reach the purse since the candle is even farther away, but... Hmm. Perhaps tis not nothing. My eyes did deceive me. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, we got the purse. That's another 50. Brings my total to 80%. Still aren't done with these two clowns, unfortunately. But having the desk clear with ghost intact, we've only had green alerts, is worth a worth a save to me. Alright, got the chest open. Now running in and out should work here. Just come again? Perhaps I see things that are not. So there's a purse in that chest that's worth another 50, brings my total to 82%. I think twas nothing. Did thou open that door there? Oh crud, he Dang it. I wanted to leave it open because I need to try and figure out a way to get that oil flask. It's clipped. I know that... So I can't pick it up as is. Hey! He is I come, my brethren! Do not let him flee! Well, I obviously need to close the chest on the way out. But... Yeah, the oil flask is clipped, so I can't pick it up, and... I think I might be able to shoot it with a broadhead to knock it loose, but they'll almost certainly hear it if I do that, so. Hmm. Perhaps tis not nothing. Uh, I had it highlighted, but he didn't pick it up. I see not now. Try again. Hey! Fuck. Oh, I can't believe I, I had the purse, all was well. I forgot to close the chest in time, and he noticed it, and he yellow alerted, which I can't have. Hmm. First try. Come on. Hmm. Perhaps tis not nothing. Thy will shalt be done, Master Builder, in the great things. Thy will shalt be done, Master Builder, in the small things. Finally get the gas arrow out of that vent. I see not ah. now. Wall flatten here, let this guy get by, and we're good. Like I said, there's an oil flask in there that we can't get because of a clipping error. Since we're past all these chuckleheads, let's ride the elevator down. The rest, you'll be glad to know, is much simpler. So I'm going to send the elevator back up. I'm gonna do a real save. We have arrived at the ground level. So. Glory to the righteous and death to the impious. Sabotaging the clockworks is going to make a lot of noise. I need to finish up all my other business here first. Go ahead and pickpocket that priest. Who hath dared to steal from me? If you were listening, well, I'm gonna use the glitch right quick. Just to drop that wand. That completed the objective to reach the basement of the clock tower where the furnace is. So I'm going to start just by dropping down right here. Right. 
There's a fire arrow here in the southeast furnace. Yes. My imagination does run over much. Yeah, we can get that without a green alert, so... I wonder if I'm fast, if I can escape that alert. If not, I could just trigger their conversation, let the patrol start, and get it later. I think that's... I think I'll just go ahead and do that. The hardest thing about this floor is getting the purse off of the guy in the apron, so... Let's go for that Master first. Tobias, as thou didst instruct me, I hath spent a night in meditation upon the workings of the furnace. It is well. Art the workings clear to thee? They are clear, but one thing doth still perplex mine thoughts. Speak then. Much effort hath been spent on other machines. The valves to release excess steam, mechanism to halt the gears. So his pickpocket was worth 50, it brought my total to 84%. Next, there's a holy water under the stairs, and... Before I head back upstairs, I still need to get the fire arrow out of the southeast furnace. But these devices, they aren't only necessary shouldst the main workings wilt go awry. Shouldst we not instead strive that all shalt work smoothly? Thy words speak to thy youth. To assume that our works canst never fail is to pride one's own works as great as those of the builder. What comes? Right from my person. Yeah, he's still green alerted. I'll just let the patrol start and wait till everyone's back is turned. Much effort hath been spent on other machines. The valves to release excess steam, the mechanism to halt the gears. But these devices, they aren't only necessary shouldst the main workings wilt go awry. Shouldst we not instead Oh, there we go. All shalt work Can get smooth. it through the wall. Thy words speak to thy youth. To assume that our works can never fail is to pride one's own works as great as those of the builder. Hath I been robbed? <laughs> so we'll have to come back down here to hit the halting mechanism at the very end. By the builder! Dang it. Thou need to wait till everyone's back is turned and get back to the stairs. I need to be a little bit more careful about the patroller there, obviously. So next, he ought to head back over to his wall panel and stare at it for a bit. Which is pretty perfect for me. Should give me the window I need to get up the stairs. Beautiful, that's what I needed. So all that's left, well, we've got a hit the two mechanisms. All that's left loot-wise is one purse plus the foreman's office. 
There's the purse. Worth 50, brings the total to 86%. Did I lose? <gasps> Nay, when he's nice and far away, bust through there. Come up on this door. And you can kind of scope out the guy inside. You want to wait until he's all the way in the office over in the other corner before you try to go through here again because this door is very noisy. Who makes that noise? Now he opened the door himself and then he alerted to the noise of the door opening. How do you like that? Anyway, once you get in here, go ahead and hit the coal dispenser lever. That, they won't reset. So you can just man did stand before the builder hit it and forget about it, which is nice. Now undergo trial and hazard so let's uh, go into the foreman's office. So you remember the notes, we have to hit the coal dispenser and the steam release, then when they're both active, hit the halting mechanism. Well, they won't shut off the coal dispenser, but they if you take too long, they will reopen the steam release. So once you hit the steam release, you're on a clock to hit the halting mechanism in time. But the coal dispenser, you can activate and forget. So in the foreman's office, on the desk is a gold pitcher worth 175, brings my total to 93% and completes the objective, steal at least 90% of the loot, 93% stolen. There's also a gold goblet on the desk, worth 75, brings my total to 96%. Over on his bookshelf, there's another map, which I believe is just another copy of the mechanical plan. And then inside that chest, which we can't reclose because of another clipping error, we get a gold coin, worth 75, brings me up to 100%, and an explosive mine. That's Each it. Year of thy life we have everything. The foundation for the next. The man who squanders his youth needs must build his life on a foundation of mud, and then wilt it collapse. So we're ready to finish our sabotage. So I'm gonna wait until he's safely far away, and then just open up this door which will take me to the steam release. <sighs> up left, right, down left, up. Hey, hello? Dang it. This better be a I just hit it too many times. Let's try this again. Oh, it turned off the machine noise. The lever's still pulled, though. And the man did stand before the builder, and did the builder ask, Wilt thou undergo trial and hazard? Uh-oh. There it is again. I was gonna say, I don't think I quite I cannot enough find time. now what twas I saw. Okay, we'll just take the long way around. It's not that bad anyway. This means we have one extra guard to bypass, but we can operate all the doors without alerts. So let's wait till the homes here is headed back toward the office. I'll wall flatten right here and wait for him to get over there. Then I should be able to open and close that door as before without any alerts. Uh, 
I don't know what happened to the ambient noise, I guess. The quick load just busted it somehow. So let's do this. That's what you want. Now let's head back down this hall, head over here, and good, he's right where I need him. So once you close that, this is just about perfect timing because he's going to go by, I can head over and follow the priest to the steam release mechanism. Find him on his way out. That'll maximize my time. But we want to hit the mechanism. Drop down again. And hit the halting mechanism. That's it! Those noises mean bad news. Time may have stopped, but this is looking more destructive than I had planned. And while I made some profit, I didn't notice any prophecies being fulfilled. I would hate to admit the Keepers were right after all. The best thing to do now is return to the library until the dust settles. Maybe Katika is finally ready to tell us who the Brethren and Betrayer is. So, you noticed everyone panic at the end, but that's because the clock tower was collapsing. They didn't see me or hear me, so I don't regard that as busting the ghost. That means that this is Perfect Thief in Killing Time, but it's certainly not Supreme Ghost. I took a couple of green alerts and used a moss arrow picking the pockets of the priests in the upper clock tower. Those were the only supreme busts there. You could obviously avoid them by skipping those pickpockets, but a few supreme busts become necessary when you get down to the lower clock tower. That one level, I've never been able to avoid a green alert crossing into the central area from the one guard who's just stationary facing the door. And then in the office past it, obviously I took several green alerts, I lost count, and I had to use a water arrow to put out the torch in order to fully loot that spot. But that's it. As long as you disregard the alert at the end as scripted, which I do, because it is scripted, and like I said, I wasn't seen or heard, we didn't break any ghost rules, so we have Perfect Thief successfully intact. Successfully accomplished. Let's look at the stats. Obviously, I played on Expert. Time elapsed, 42 minutes. Loot stolen, 2450 out of 2450, 100%. Times caught, 0. Opponents blackjacked, 0. Opponents killed, 0. Stealthy kills, 0. Non-combatants killed, 0. Locks picked, 5. Pockets picked, 9. Bodies discovered, 0. Damage taken, 0. Healing taken, 0. Total for game. Time elapsed, 557 minutes. Loot stolen, 23,075. Times caught, 0. Opponents blackjacked, 1. The innkeeper in training. Opponents killed, 0. Stealthy kills, 0. Non-combatants killed, 0. Locks picked, 76. Pockets picked, 45. Bodies discovered, 4. Uh, street melees, other bodies I didn't kill. Damage taken, 0. I mean, you can tell I'm not responsible for the bodies when you put those two stats together. Damage taken, 0. Healing taken, 0. Let's look at our gear at the end. I need to replenish my water arrow supply. I ended up losing one. Even though I used a moss arrow, I replaced it, so I end with blackjack dagger, 24 water arrows, 30 broadhead arrows, 5 noisemaker arrows, 5 gas arrows, 15 fire arrows, 20 moss arrows, 24,650 gold, 5 holy waters, 5 oil flasks, 10 health potions, 20 flash bombs, 4 gas bombs, 5 explosive mines. Now 5 is the maximum number of oil flasks you can carry, so it doesn't really matter that the clipping error stopped us from getting that one in the office. Upgrades, mechanical eye, door glyph, lock picks, climbing gloves, broadhead upgrade to destroy rust mites, moss arrow upgrade from the pagans. Loot wise, I have 2450. Uh, I have one gem, but yeah, I've got some loot in all three categories. 
Quest items, Velvet Bag, Pagan Sapling, Climbing Gloves, Compendium of Reproach, Reproach, Glyph Key, and Keys. That's it. Let's hit continue, and we will... It'll spawn us in the Stone Market Plaza. So, as usual, I'm just gonna... You know, you'll, we'll get our new objective. I will save and end it there, and do Day 6 next time. So as you can see, things have changed. I'll go into more detail about that when I, you know, clear this area in day six. But we have completed our objective, break into the Stone Market Clock Tower via an upper story access pipe in Stone Market Plaza to sabotage the clockworks. Our new objective is to return to Keeper Library to see if Interpreter Katika has discovered the identity of the Brethren and Betrayer. We have the Pagan Faction uh, favors, the Hammer Faction favors, and our Landlord being blackmailed in our notes and we still have the keeper restriction for now. So, I am gonna do one last real save. That's it for Killing Time, Perfect Thief. I will see you guys next time for day six in the city. That's all for now, Bye bye